The portion of God's word we want to think about for a little while this morning is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1. Many of us are more familiar with Luke's account of Jesus' birth, aren't we? Luke chapter 2, in those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree, etc., etc. And we're going to get to that. The children later this morning are going to focus on that. Next week for Christmas, certainly, we're going to dive into Luke's gospel, those words that we know so well. But today we're going to look at Matthew chapter 1, uh, the, the lesser known account because it doesn't really focus on the, the details of what happened that night in Bethlehem. It doesn't talk a whole lot about the, the manger or the stable or the shepherds or the angels or any of that. Really, it focuses on the events that led up to the birth of Christ. Here again, the, the words of Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife, but he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. So the birth of Jesus is just mentioned in passing, right? The actual birth itself is is barely mentioned in just that last verse. Rather, Matthew wants us to highlight, or wants to highlight for us, some of the things that led up to that night. And as we are in the final days of anticipating the celebration of Christmas, it's good for us to focus once again on what happened leading up to the birth of our Savior. 